Let me show you how you can get the 6000 fertilizer needed to upgrade the greenhouse in the 1.9 update of Hello Kitty Island Adventure. How you can get small amount of free fertilizer daily, how you can save on fertilizer and what I actually do to make my fertilizer and how you can make the most out of it. So first of all, if you have Marin or Lutz as visitors or as residents, you can go talk to them daily and they each will give you fertilizer for free. The second time is how to save fertilizer. I tend to fertilize my whole plots and maybe sometimes I'm fertilizing things that I do not need to. So let me show you how to save fertilizer. First you need to know that fertilizer is used for two things. The first thing is used to turn a solid color into the pattern of that type of flower. So if you have red penstemum, fertilizing it might have a chance of making a red ombre penstemum. You will not be able to get another type of pattern there, you need to transfer it somehow. But a solid flower become ombre or an egg work become speckled by fertilizing it. And fertilizer gives you a chance of another flower spawning next to it. Chelsea explained in my interview that the more fertilized flower around an empty spot, the more chances you'll have to have a flower come here. So if you have a field of ombre or any pattern flowers with no empty spots, you should not fertilize this field because nothing can come more out of this. And sometimes I have fields of things I'm just needing more to make a crown or something or just to make more fertilizer, but you should not use fertilizers on these. Also, if you have no empty spots and you do not want these flowers to potentially get a pattern, you don't need to fertilize that. Yeah, sometimes you have a plot with flowers that you want to fertilize and some that you don't want to fertilize. And if you're in a hurry, it's easier to draw fertilizer on everything by long pressing. This is what I do. And if you're saving for fertilizer, if you daily save on those five to 10 other flowers that you do not need to fertilize, maybe you'll get some more fertilizer. But now this is the important part. Let me show you what I do to maximize fertilizer. And this is my way of doing it. There's so many ways of making fertilizers. So see if you have better ideas for me, put them in the comments, but I'm not saying this is the only way. Before even getting Wish Me Mel, I go around all my flowers and I pick up the blooms by long pressing and I also trowel everything that is not needed. So if I'm looking for a specific thing to spawn on your color something and this is not what I want, I trowel it. You don't have to pick it before, you can trowel it and you get the bloom, and, like the picked flower and the sprout. So. When I have removed everything that I don't want on my island and watch it. Because if you water, you might get a second batch of flowers blooming. So you water, you pick up everything. Then I go to the seed dispensers with Wish Me Mel. Because Wish Me Mel has a potential of making you extra seeds when you put picked flowers in the seed dispenser. And I look, for example, for me, I'm actually now trying to make all the candles and all the flower crowns. I'm not turning into seeds the flowers that I do not have more than 15 and have not done the crown yet. But everything else I'm turning into seeds because some of the flowers can become two seeds because of Wish Me Mel's bonus will turn these two seeds into fertilizer. Once you have done all that, then you go to the composter. You actually don't need with Schmimel at that point, so you can let her go if you want. So then you can take all your seeds and turn them into fertilizer. And there's also the basic seeds that you pick up daily on the island. So I always, always ask somebody to pick up those seeds because that's a lot of free fertilizer that is lying on your ground that you can turn into fertilizer. And in my case, I just keep one of each seed packets just in case I need to redo something. When I'm doing a new experiment, I'll have one of each. Some people keep zero, some people keep 50 of each. This is your choice. I'm just keeping one of each. Then 
I go to the sprout type and here I'm reducing to one of each of the base color flower, like no pattern. Any pattern sprouts that I have, I keep them. If I have 10, I keep 10 because they're difficult to get and at some point I might need them for a pattern transfer or for color transfer, something like that. So I keep all my sprouts of ombres and speckled and everything. I'm usually keeping all of these, but now I've reached so many quantities of that and I'm now lowering to 60. So everything higher than 60 in an ombre or pattern flower, I compost it into fertilizer. So that in good days gives me 600 plus fertilizers. If I need to lower also to 60, it would maybe give me 800. It really depends on how many flowers you have planted, what are your patterns, if you have huge fields of flowers, how many you keep of everything. But that would mean that in a few days you can save enough fertilizer to open up your greenhouse to the total. And of course you can also trade fertilizer with other people so that is something that you can do if somebody is willing to give you a lot of fertilizer in exchange of something they need good for you and i will also do a separate video about pollen puffs because it's also very hard so look over there <laughs> 